Alrighty guys, I think it's time for another workshop update because we got the LED lights up and running. Had to do a bit of modding on them, but in order to get them to work correctly because these are not BALS compatible, quick couple of quick rewires, not a big issue. Works really nice as you can see. Lots of lumens, hang on, I gotta kill all the light. Now the whole workshop is LED lit every single light and it's awesome you can see here some of my work with uh, experimental energy weapons uh, my attempt back in eighth grade at a really crappy coil uh, railgun this was bad idea it's just an L bracket sawed in half don't do this very bad idea did not work uh, it's built off an old uh, Disposable camera charger, which is hidden in here, powered by two AA batteries. Yeah, it's a snap circuit. It's one. It's what I had on hand at the time. Dumping charge into three batteries from uh, disposable cameras, which are almost dead because I neglected to put in uh, protection diodes like these. Uh, they shoot these, which are basically chopped up pieces of a uh, printer shaft. They work reasonably well, although I'm going to have to go buy some more on eBay because these ones are really bad. Bad these job on the cuts are. And they're inconsistent in length, and that's really not good. I also had a coil gun attachment. Yeah, behold, a terrible workmanship made in 8th grade. Bad, bad times. Uh, that is quite literally a doorbell chime solenoid. Just basically, we put this in here, hook it up to here, press the button, fire it off, it gets pulled through and shot out the other end at reasonably high speeds. Maximum distance I obtained with these was about 80 or so feet at its prime. Not that much since then because these have been steadily deteriorating due to the reverse uh, voltage going back into them. Don't do that. Seriously, just don't. Spend some time, add a little bit more money, add the diet to protect it. It's worth the investment. Other than that, I've also made a couple of other purchases recently. I picked up some red iron oxide, some aluminum powder, and some potassium nitrate for more rocket fuel experiments. Got a scale. Gonna make some more rocket fuel. Picked up a couple of new chips from my old sorters. These ones down here, I'm going to have to scrape this off, but these ones were given to me by a family friend who's had these things since the uh, early 80s, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but that's when these are uh, from around. These other ones I'm going to identify later and probably uh, make another video on those when I get around to it. Aside from that, not a lot of new stuff going on. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think. I did get this random box of crap from Amazon's R&D Labs, their Lab 126. I don't know why they sent it to me. It just randomly showed up my door one day. I'm still extremely confused as to what the hell happened. I'm not arguing it, but it's just really confusing for me. Uh, I guess that's about it for this run. Till the next update. See you guys later.